It's time now for the business of health, brought to you by Hendrix Regional Health. Well, Indiana's environment and economy may become healthier as a result of a new food program at Eskenazi Health. Barbara Lewis has more in the business of health. Barb. Gary, thank you. Well, Eskenazi Health is the name of Indianapolis's hospital that serves all, including the neediest in the city. Everything about the way it looks and its programs defy the image of a public hospital. And this week, it announced a partnership with Indiana Grown to bring more locally sourced food. It's gone farm to table. So joining me to talk about the program is Dr. Lisa Harris, the CEO of Eskenazi Health. And it's always good to have you here. We're happy to be here. Thank you, Barbara. So I, I guess the easiest question to ask right off is, is why do this? Well, you know, we care a lot about the health of our community, and there isn't anything that is more foundational to good health and good nutrition. And here we are in a state that grows a lot of great food. So we thought, you know, we, we should support our local farmers. Uh, there's certainly the economic impact. There's the importance of reducing the carbon footprint that is involved when you, sh you know, ship food cross country, uh, the food wastage and spoilage that goes along with all that shipping. And then bottom line is, it, it's more nutritious and it tastes better. So how are you going to do it and, and how much food can you get from Indiana Grown to, to serve your, 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 your patients? It, it turns out a lot, more than okay. we might have expected. When we, when we issue the challenge to ourselves to procure as much food as we can locally, defining local as Indiana, north to south, east to west, we were at 3%. Within two years, we've gone to roughly 40%. And uh, we're, in, we're in partnership with 30 small farms and producers uh, across the state. Uh, we source now 100% of our major proteins, beef, chicken, pork, and our milk from Indiana farms. Um, and that's where the partnership with Indiana Grown comes in because that uh, coalition has mm -hmm. introduced us to uh, things, to individuals and, and farms and products that are out there that we didn't even know uh, what might be available to us. So it really has catalyzed. And we're, we're, we're going to push this as far as we can, but we're at about 40% now. Okay. I want to go, I'll go back to, to, mm -hmm. to what will be offered. But the economics of this, when we th usually think of, of, of buying locally, we don't always think, we think it might be the yeah. best thing to yeah. do yeah. and the healthiest thing to do, yeah. but maybe not the most economical thing to do. Well, it turns out that this actually is, it looks like overall our costs are a little bit lower. Um, and I think that's when you take all that goes into the cost of food that has to go long distances into account. But the, the biggest challenge, uh, for, especially for large organizations, uh, for us, we serve over a million meals a year to patients, visitors, staff. Um, so it's, it's really, you know, we need a reliable supply and the farmers need a reliable demand. And so we're, we're working that out in sort of the closed loop within our organization so that we can demonstrate to others and, and get the ball rolling uh, that, uh, to create you know, interest and, and bigger opportunity with other anchor institutions uh, getting on board. I think that's when we can really have uh, a, an impact uh, across the state. Okay, so this is really just gearing up yeah. then, if you will. The, this announcement um, um, this week is really just the start of it. It sounds like there's this kind of, um, um, like you said, a, a blueprint now that you're trying to, to, to form so, so this can be possible for other big right. businesses in Indiana. Exactly, exactly. And I think we, you know, we have uh, made a lot of progress, but we see this partnership with the Indiana Grown as creating uh, a, a real catalyst. Mm -hmm. uh, we can see the trajectory <laughs> The curve is uh, the slope has uh, increased dramatically uh, in getting with, with getting in that alignment. All right. Well, Dr. Harris, thank you as always for being our guest on the show. It's a joy to have you here. Thank you, Gary. Back to you.